Welcome back. I imagine at this point many people would be heading off towards the gold saucer. It's quite fun there. There's chocobo races. There's, there's so much fun to be had. But me? Gongaga. Yeah, I had to think of something to make that joke work. I don't know. Did it work? I don't know. Hey, up ahead. Is that our jungle? Indeed it is. Hold on, little Miss Carset. We're almost there. Hooray. <gasps> oh dear. Brum. Gungaga region. Think I'm gonna hurl? Bit overgrown for the poor old buggy. We'll need to carry on on foot. Oh, I meant to say, there's a village up this way. Fancy popping in? The reactor's not going anywhere, and I bet we could all do with a wee cat nap, eh? <laughs> sure, uh, let's. Uh huh. Cloud, you okay? I just... I feel like I've been here before. Maybe you have. Anyway, get back in the buggy, because I'm not done. It's like, no. I wanted to look down here, because... As I was approaching this area, I did notice there was like a little town or shack or something down here. So I want to have a look. You don't have to, like, make me drive up a wall game just to be like, no, you can't go that way in the buggy. Like, okay. Fine, I'll try something else. So we're in a new region now. The Gungaga region. So yeah, got all of this to explore. So is this the Gungaga reactor? Imagine it is. Ooh, there's a sort of port there. Like an airstrip? Because there is one in the, um, Corel region, like here-ish. We go back to the Corel region. So I can show you. Yeah, there's one here, look. Corel airstrip. Like, hmm. Interesting. So what we got here, anyway? Oh, Gongaga port. Very well. Very quiet. Not much of a port with it being this quiet, is it? You guys around? Welcome to Gungaga Port. Seas as calm as ever today, which means smooth sailing. Smooth sailing. Lush green forests are great and all, but there's nothing. Hmm. This is interesting. You gotta think, the reactor's not working, obviously. And a key indicator of that is the fact it's a lush green forest. Right here. Need to find a way to get a chocobo, though. That's what we need. What's up here? I know I'm going the wrong way, where the story told me to go, but... I want to explore! Ooh. So there's something chocobo related here. Chocobos use mushrooms as springboards? I do now. Chadley, you're actually useful for once with your information. Other times you're just telling me stuff I already know again and again and again and again and again and again. Bunnies! Means there's some loot around. Can't be bothered to come back there once I've got the chocobo. Hello! Chocobo chick! Hello! What we got? What's, where are you taking us? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. Thank you. You're such a good little chocobo chick. Thank you. Get some pets for that. There you go. Yeah, lovely little pets. You're adorable. So where are we going? And you can see like a fence or something here. Oh no, that's just the way the trees grow. Okay. Is this the right way? Like, 
Am I, am I heading? No, I, I think we wanted to head up there, but I'm heading up here. Oh, well, we're heading up here now. Might loop back around. I'm following the path, basically. Ooh, the music. Very interesting. Alright, let's get an assess going on the frogs. Allow me. Turns out they're frogs. It's over. Which makes sense, because this isn't nothing to it. the Gungaga region in the original Final Fantasy VII, the area where you first come across a toad effect? I may be misremembering there. It's where I remember it though. It's interesting. Anyway, we're following the path. Where it takes us, who knows. Look at this thing. Chimera Mimic. So it's mimicking a Chimera? Weird. It's Fright Flower, what? What are you? Die, whatever you are. Toodaloo. Oh yeah, if you haven't noticed, I've obviously got um, Kate Sif in the group. Hey, Kate. What is it? If you're serious about wanting to be our new best friend, how about giving us some insider info? Someone lives all the way out here, in this wee hut. <laughs> uh, talk about rustic. Then again, a life without Marco. Uh, it's not without its charm, is it? In fact. This could be a whole new string to the Shinra Resort's bow, eh? The rural getaway! Cast off modernity and embrace eternity! You'd be surprised how many people would go for it. Could be a nice little earner. Yeah, but it's Shinra though, I wouldn't trust it. Wouldn't trust it. It's a side quest in here. Guess we should see about the side quest. Ezo's smithery. What just got destroyed? Did we just run into something that caused that? Uh, damn it. Not again. Maybe not. After all that time and effort. Is it the design? Ugh. Not making any progress at all. So this is the little shack you see in Final Fantasy VII What's that's just on a you? peninsula. So it would be oh no. It would be let's go world map. It would be like out here. I think it was, but it's like they moved it slightly. Why would you try that? Mm, to hell with it. Back to square one. Huh? Who are you? Whatever, I don't have time to <sighs> that arm. That magnificent arm. Uh it is a weapon, but how does it work? Uh... A universal adapter. Allowing you to switch out weapons at will. But look at all these scratches. Wait, have you been going around punching things with your attachments? Uh, occasionally? Doing so ought to have given you multiple bone fractures. But this unique cylinder provides unparalleled shock absorption, allowing for high impact performance. Who was the genius that built this? Uh, an old friend, I guess. Don't know where he's at now, though. Uh, wait right there! Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Eureka! The <laughs> Sorry, got carried away. My name's Izo. I've been trying to create the ultimate weapon, but my attempts have all failed miserably. But thanks to you, I finally made a breakthrough. I must harness the inspiration while I can. Please. Help me build it. Gather the materials I need. Uh, hmm. I wanted to say what materials, but you live here? I'm originally from Junon, but I could hardly breathe there. So I decided to leave it all behind. I wandered in search of somewhere I could build my weapons in peace. And eventually, I wound up here. Not a bad place, huh? Of course, materials can be hard to come by when you live out here in the sticks. So, about Barrett's arm. Though it seems crude at a glance, look close. The craftsmanship is remarkable. 
Whoever made it must have been a specialist in a completely different field. No mere weaponsmith would have been half as clever. The ultimate weapon. It would be nice to get the ultimate weapon, but we need to have the weapons appear properly before we can get the ultimate weapon. Yep. Indeed. I've made it my life's work. Frustrating though it's been. How to conceive a weapon I lack the vocabulary to describe. A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Leave it to us. Well, if all you need is some material, sure. Why not? Just leave it to us. Wonderful. Thank you. I believe I left a map in my storage shed that you can use to find what I need. Grab that before you head out, and you shouldn't have any trouble. You'd think it would be wise to get the chocobo first, but... Oh well. Gotta say, never seen someone so interested in my arm. Most folks try their best to look the other way. He's a weird one. Huh. That's putting it mildly. Made me realize too how soft I've gotten. Cause in the old days, I would have said no touching and decked his ass. In the old days? If it ain't the present, it's the past, son. Uh, Barrett has a point, but I see where Cloud's coming from. So, aha. Draconite ore. Open the map Ezo has provided with and press L1 to take a closer look. Follow his directions as best you can to find the necessary Draconite ore. Must be the map Ezo was talking about. Don't know what else it'd be. Well, let's see where it takes us. You ready? Yes, I'm ready. I did. This is not helpful. These are just pictures. Okay, so there's a stamp here. So from the looks of it over there, do we need a chocobo to dig it up though? That's the question, because otherwise we'll have to go get the chocobo. So it feels like it's it's a chocobo situation, doesn't it? Unless it's around here. Unless it's leading me in, in the way I should go. I know! Ooh, 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 yes. Okay. So there we want to go around to the right. Try to avoid that guy if I can. Don't think I can. Indeed. It's on now. Get him. <laughs> See you around. There we go. Okay, so you said from here go around here. So now we're looking for like a obelisk or something. Not sure after that point. Wait, what did what did number three say? It said go this way around that weird rock, so. Like maybe? Just go back, just make sure we're going the right way. Because all the others were very clearly together. Stop ooh ooing at me. Alright, fine, seeing as it's right here. Fine. Bling blonk. Blink blonk. Blink blonk. Lovely. A recent history of Gongaga. We'll see about that at some point. Oh, look at that waterfall. It's lovely. I'm just going to find out where we are and what's happening. Where, where did we go? Come from where did we go? Because now I've ended up lost. I where, where did I go? Somehow, I found the thing I was looking for. 
have no idea how I ended up there. Because I went up there, which means I came around there. Did I cross this brook at any point? Because I, I know where I should be now. Just wondering where how I got there. I don't know. Oh, there. Yes, yeah. Yeah, because we, we were here with the big circle rock formation. It wanted me to go around here. Which does show this sort of obelisk thing here. Which then... Oh, that's number four I wanted. Number four told me to go this way. And on that, I'm now looking for a... Interesting tree. Which says... The Draconite is here. Should be somewhere around here. Well, hello. Let's just keep at it with this. Gonna assess, see what we can find out about I these guys. Them. Exploiting their elemental weakness or inflicting enough damage during ionic charge will pressure them. Wind is what we want. Alright then, so if wind is what we want, let's try Deal going over to Kate's. Oh. <laughs> Scratch your eyes out! Is it air if I gave the wind thing to maybe? So I had a uh, wind <laughs> accessory, so it's like, okay, so maybe. Yeah. Arrow then. Cloud. Spinny spinny. That didn't work out for me, did it? That did though. Deal with that. Arif. I was hoping I could avoid that by dodging backwards, but no. And same again. And same again. You'll be blown away. Boom. Literally. I've been pretty rough on you, I know, but you've always come through for me. Thanks, buddy. Don't know where I'd be without you. You weren't in the fight. Anyway. Oh, I thought maybe I had to hit it and get some chunks. Still got more to find. Still got more to find. Be annoying if you said that after every single one. Apart from the last one. Still got more to find. Still got more to find. Still got more to find. Like, shut up, Cloud! Because it did say on the picture there was some up here as well. There's one there. Still got more to find. Still got more to find. Still got more to find. You get the idea. Hmm. Oh, hello. I can see the last two now. There was going to be like a secret one hidden somewhere else. Maybe we could find more. Hold up. Is that everything? It is. Let's head back and check in with Izo. I hear Izo and all I think is element zero. There is more. Oh. Could we not... Picked up more and got something better? Does this take us anywhere? Oh, hello. It does take us somewhere. Hello, mate. I see you. Don't worry. I got you covered. Mushroom storage. Yeah. 
you very much, my good little chocolate bear. Yeah. It's down here, though. A chest! Oh, yeah, because we're in a treasure location. May as well find the one while we're here. Assuming it's that easy. Ooh. Maybe it's up there somewhere. It seems leaving this area makes it so we're not in the treasure location, the cache. So it's got to be back here. And that's just the wall. Oh, there you are. Very simple, that one. Barrel. Nope, oh, your barrel. So where are we? Okay. Right, so let's first travel our way back. Mate, I've got your stuffs. Some good old stuff for Ezo. Oh, did you find everything? I mean, yeah, eight of eight. Excellent. It's all here. Thanks. If you're not in a rush, wait here while I finish up. I am in a rush. <laughs> I get that it's your profession, but do you actually enjoy this? Making weapons? Of course I enjoy it. That's why I chose this job. Besides, it's the wielder who dictates the true value of a tool. Weapons, too. Aye, that's especially true for weapons. Oh? Yes, yes! I've done it! Feast your eyes on my masterpiece! Look at that! My gift to you, I insist! I may not be the gentlest owner, you know. <laughs> Use her as you like. The wielder dictates the value of the tool, remember? And by association, the value of the maker. Therefore, what good I put out into the world depends on who I entrust with my weapons. That's how I choose to see my part in it all. Huh. Hell of a lot of pressure to put on some guy you just met, don't you think? The adapter that your friend made. It's a gift in more ways than you know. He was thinking of your future, of what you might do after the dust settles. Today, you may have no choice but to wield a weapon. But tomorrow? Years from now? Think about it if you haven't. The man who fashioned your adapter is an inspiration in his own right. And that's no lie. <sighs> that's some awesome insight. <laughs> Maybe one day you'll ask me to turn your arm into a giant egg beater. I'll make it so you can whip up a cake to serve a hundred. <laughs> Weird time to be joking around, man. Not joking in the least. That's the price for my masterpiece. You owe me a cake fit for a king. So don't you go dying on me. You hear? Yeah. Best get a cake, then. Talk about a weirdo. Friendly, though. True. A weirdo with the heart of gold. Got a weapon out of it. Oh, level up bow down there. Cool. Uh, um, let's um let's let's see about equipping that then. I, mean, I think I yeah, I still need to get Barrett's charging up a cut sorted there with that, but the Fafnir? Ooh, consume all ATB charges to deliver a close range attack and Send enemies flying. Finish off an enemy for the proficiency. I just want that just because of how good it looks. Yeah, yeah. Right. Let's at least make our way towards where we were meant to be going, at least in this. And I just wandered off and ended up with a side quest. Like, okay, fine. Didn't mean to. I want to at least get to the point where I can get the chocobo. <laughs> you know. There's a rest stop. Okay, so let's get the mega potions. 
Subversion material. We don't have one of them. Disempowerment material. Crocodile bracelet. Might get several of them. Come yeah. See about some of our skills with the books because we got quite a few more things we can do now because we're at level six with that. Want to head to any more synergy skills, which I don't think you can here with Cloud. Get the staggered damage up, that'd be nice. How do we get to you? We need this one. Okay. Obviously, can't. I was just looking into it. Don't even care what it is. Just get the synergy skill over anything else. Alright, so next. Quite a bit with Kate Ziff because, you know, I haven't looked at his yet. Which I should do. I mean, I've got him in my group, so. Okay, more stuff at end, please. So we can get to there. Hmm. Let's just start getting ones down here. Swing, bachonk. Swing, bachonk. That's that's the noise it makes. Can you feel, feel, you feel, you feel? What have you got around? Let's go. We're just getting these ones down here. Luck goes up by 50 with that one. Not bad, not bad at all. Tifa! Oh, got to get that, obviously. And we've only got 10 left after that. Let's just see what we've got down here. Let's increase your max HP, then. Barrett. Any synergies? No, let's just get this, then. The regeneration. Nice to have a bit of regen for you there. Red. I like red had a synergy skill I didn't have. No? Just mistaken. We'll get that one in the middle then. Increase the vengeance gauge. Charge rate upon successfully blocking. Alright. Let's move on a little bit then. So, we're heading all the way down there? Oh my. Kind of want to get the tower. I want to at least get to the town, you know, in this part, even though we had the quest. Look at this bridge. It's so pretty here. Ooh. I imagine the side quests will make us wander around this area quite a bit, though. Got a chocobo stop up ahead. I was going to say, like, the chocobo stop would be where I'm going anyway. Like, where I've been, if anything. Something jumping up and down in there. I want to get to the tower. So that'll give me some lovely info. Oh, hello. Is that the tower? That's the tower. I was worried I would have to take some of the bridges that we saw in different places to get there, but... Nope, we're good. All right, let's get on up. Let's fight our good everything. I was hoping that was going to reach the others, but no. Alright, fire out then. Brave, I should finish it off, right? Yeah. <laughs> This is something I like with Sarah. Like, the other day I just did the 
da 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 and then she finished it off with many 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 I like that. I like the fact she knows it. That's what we got. Ooh. Barely anything from this tower. That's great, great. What do you want, Chadley? Cloud, there are pockets within the Gungaga region that we still cannot scan. Despite being within range of a tower, if anyone is capable of evading detection by Republic Tech, it must be... Shinra. Yes. Furthermore, as we have yet to detect a proto-relic, I suspect these issues may be related in some manner. I've marked the previously mentioned pockets on your map. And remember, when surveying, safety first. Pockets, you say? Oh, so that's basically just go find the proto-relic again, okay. <laughs> Fine, you could have just said that, Chadley. Rather than like, oh, there's something suspicious going like this proto relic there. Okay. Right. So. Oh, I was hoping you would jump the distance there, Cloud. Right. So we continue our journey towards what I assume is Gongaga. I assume we'll avoid those guys for now. I say for now, like forever. Because they'll despawn and then they'll spawn new ones. Their existence is temporary. Temporary. I want to head. Well, I kind of want to continue on this path that I'm going down here. I think. There's something blocking away, but if we went up there, we could find that. But I don't, I don't want to find that yet. Well, that's a thought. I haven't done the fight for um, Alexander. I've done all the um, locations, but I haven't done the fight. Should do that at some point in the future as well. Ching, ching, ching. So, I know you've been ratting on us to Shinra. Telling them where we are, you furry fraud. Guilty. I knew this cat had two faces. Ah, come on now. I'm only pulling your leg. Who are you kidding? You were literally built by the company. Probably stuffed you full of teeny tiny listening devices. Teeny tiny? The late president believed that bigger was always better. Small went against his philosophy. Knew him well, huh? Some nine to five nobody you are. Sure your name ain't Stamp? Pretty sure, aye. Might want to check. I mean, we kind of already know who it is. These guys don't, but we know. So I'm assuming this is the right way. Because it's leading us in that direction. I'm just hoping we get a truck bow out of this, because then I can go exploring quicker. Which I could do in between the parts, you see. Come along. The village of Gongaga awaits. It's about time. I'm freaking starving. <laughs> Maybe our lucky food will be on the menu. How are you feeling, Aerith? Heading towards Gongaga? There it is. Gongaga. Are these? They are! Gungaga mushrooms! They may be hard to come by in Midgar, but here? Here you can't move for the blasted things. Wow. Hmm. Surround it. Passing through. It's Sisney. You. What? Uh, nothing. For a second, I thought you were someone else. <sighs> Who are you people? I. You'll do. More importantly, why are you here? Not to survey the reactor, I presume. Ah, no, just to study it. We're on a wee field trip, you see? Oh, the music is Price of Freedom. Shh. Well then. Oh. 
Welcome to Gungaga. I'm Cisne, Coalition Captain. And sorry, didn't mean to startle you before. Just doing our jobs. Back to your posts. Ma'am! Ma You'll get a clear view of the reactor from that hill. Make sure to pay your respects, though. Of course. <laughs> Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is this is what I would so wanted to happen in the remake saga. Was more with Cisne. What happened to her after Crisis Core? That's what I wanted to know. Because she wasn't in the original Final Fantasy VII. So it's like, yes! The fact she's at Gungaga? Brilliant. Brilliant. Did not see that coming. Ah. Oh. The hill's this way. I, I know. You coming? Yes, I'm coming. It's Cisne. I ah. Uh. Our village is a quiet one, as you can tell. Let's keep it that way. The choice in music for this location, though. Don't get a lot of visitors. What with the jungle. Can't even remember the last time. But that's part of this place's charm, I suppose. What's gonna happen? Because she obviously knows Zack. We know that much. So, what's she gonna say to Cloud? Like, hmm. Oh, Graves. Oh, oh, this is gonna be interesting. Oh my. ago, the reactor here suffered a catastrophic failure. It was old and couldn't handle the stress. It needed maintenance which Shinra never provided. And then one day... So, they're cheap as well. <laughs> this was the company's way of trying to make amends. I'm surprised they even made the effort. And thanks to the hard work of our people, Gongaga rose from the ashes, right? <laughs> That's nice and all, but one memorial doesn't buy absolution. You guys must be tired. I know you've got things to do, but if you wanted to rest up... Wouldn't they say no? My house is just down there. Got an open door policy, so feel free. Woohoo! Don't mind if I do! <sighs> I'm, uh... Gonna take a look around. <clears throat> Seriously, get some rest, okay? Ah, oh, just I loved this aspect. Oh, hello! <laughs> I didn't expect you to be there when I was going around here. Yeah, I love the fact Cisne's here. I I love that aspect. That's such a great change. Or addition. I want to say change. Addition to the story. It's bringing in stuff that happened in Crisis Core now. That I, I felt that going back through the original Final Fantasy VII, like it was lacking that as a result of Crisis Core. It wasn't originally, obviously, but once you'd played Crisis Core, it's like, well, what happened to Cisne? What's her story? It's like, we can finally find out. Yay. Those Gungaga mushrooms you found? They're all yours if you want them. We got more than our fair share. Oh, thank you. That Cisne lassie was right, you know. If Shinra had wanted to, they could have done something about the reactor. But instead, they looked the other way. Willful negligence killed those people. And everyone thinks Avalanche are the bad guys. Sad. No. Oh. But yeah, the reason why it's like... um pointing out the music there with the price of freedom or a variation upon it because there was different versions of it throughout crisis core but it's essentially the price of freedom it's zach's theme so being here in gongaga and having zach's theme playing in the background during the scene with cisne oh 
perfect choices all around there. Telling species apart can be difficult. What looks like a Gungaga mushroom may in fact be poisonous. For me and my nose, the difference is obvious. But for someone like you, well, let's find out. Which of these do you think they are? Uh, the one on the right looks like the um, correct ones. That, they've got spots on. They don't look the right color at all, so. Right ones. Correct. I suppose this scent does make it rather obvious. I don't know, it's how they look. Because like, you got pink ones, which is what they were. These these are more of a red, and uh, like I said, these got spots on, which pink ones do not. The pink ones do not. Okay. So what have we got around here? Several different things. Obviously, we got um, our lovely Queen's Blood going on. I think we'll do in the next part. We've got Snaps as well. Can we actually leave the area? I don't know if we can. Like, if I wanted to, could I? Yeah. I'm stuck here for now. Tifa? See how they dry their mushrooms here? Bet they'd make for a mean stock. Doubt there's much it wouldn't improve. Soups, pilafs, maybe even a pot roast. What sort of thing would you go for? These rooms are a good um, specialty. Soup's good. Soup's good. Can't mess it up. Hey, making a great soup takes hard work, I'll have you know. Oh. I'd like to taste the soup. It would be lovely. Wondering where Barrett could be. As as to where Arif could be, I imagine she's in one of the buildings. It's just Barrett's the one I'm after right now. Got a dot there. Just, just a dot on the map. Finally. Glad to get all that planting out of it. Just a blue dot, because yeah, there's Arif. We'll save Arif until the next part, because of her connection to Zack and who people in Gungog could be. Like Zach's from here, which means he has family. From Gongaga. Alright, people, warm up time. Barrett, where are you? Where would he go? Animals have been acting strange recently. Have they? Because of the reactor noise that's been stressing people. Did you have any books for sale? Please, browse at your leisure. I'll be right here if you need anything. No. See ya. If you need something else... Nah, it's alright. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Interesting music, though. This is your friendly reminder from the Youth Coalition. Oh, hello. Playing need be a waste of both my time and yours. Fine by me. I'll have you know that Ooh, we must be a blood tactician to challenge her. There's Barrett. Boys, and I say we spin it at the saloon. Sounds good. Once things settle down, I could see myself moving out here, living off the land. Be a nice change of pace. <laughs> Just me, Marlene, and our little piece of paradise. <laughs> Wonder what kind of stuff we'd end up growing. <laughs> Mushrooms. Mushrooms. What? Because it's our lucky food? Don't tell me you believe that mumbo jumbo. Still, you might be onto something. Gungaga mushroom farming sounds like a license to print gear. <laughs> that giggle, he's got something planned. Alright, so I'm assuming Yuffie. I am so, so bored, bored right out of my brain. If I don't die first, that y'all go insane. Cause I've got nothing else to do. I'm stuck, you're wasting time. But just wait, oh materia, I'll get back on the road and make you mine. Lovely song. I am so that yeah. So bored. Got it. Bored. 
Um. Nice song, funny too. Nice song. Funny too. Wrote it yourself? <laughs> Finally, someone recognizes my genius. Indeed, the amazing Yuffie is also a top tier lyricist. Oh, I've got another song. Wanna hear it? Sure. Here goes. <sighs> I'll search high and low till I've gathered them all. I'll have orbs piled up about a billion feet tall. I'll have so much material, I won't know what to do. But until I can make you mine, I'll just patiently wait and dream of you. Lovely. Got a bed over there. Hey, this is the mushrooms! Oh, hello. Bird of prey there for you, Cool. Right. I think we've spoken to everyone now, haven't we? Well, there's Chadley, but you know, we're always speaking to Chadley, even if we don't want to. Bird and green, it is. Right. So, what we'll do then is end this part here. In the next part, we'll see about doing some Queen's blood. And also speaking to Arif. So we'll start over here with Zhijun in the next part. Ta-da for now.